Today, I would like to teach you how to find the mass percent of zinc and sulfur in zinc sulfide. Turns out we gotta find the total mass first, and then we can find those percentages easy as cake. Take a look. Bam, so the first step of the process is to write down the elements we see, so zinc and sulfur. Next is then to identify the number of atoms. That's where the subscripts come into play. If there is no subscript, just put in a one. So there's one zinc, one sulfur. Then we're simply gonna take those number of atoms and multiply by the mass of each element. Periodic table. Zinc's mass is gonna be 65.38, sulfur is gonna be 32.07. Let's write them in. Okay, so this is 65, what the heck, 65.38, good. And then sulfur is going to be 32, 32.07. Then we're going to find the total mass of the element in the compound by simply multiplying this on a cross. So this is actually pretty simple, right, in this problem because they're both ones. But you can use the same process in a problem that doesn't have subscript of one, and you're not going to be lost. You follow this exact process. The total mass then of the entire thing is just simply going to be the summation of those individual total masses of the elements. So this is simply going to be 97.45. And there you have it. That was the first step of the process to find the total mass. Now that we know the total mass, I'm going to add a column to the table to help find those percents. Bam. So to find the mass percent of zinc, take the total amount of zinc here, 65.38, and then divide it by the total mass of the entire compound. Hence why we had to do that first, 97.45 times that by 100. All right. And the percentage is going to work out to be 67.09%. All right. That's the percent now by mass or percent composition of zinc in zinc sulfide. Next, sulfur. Take the total mass of the sulfur, 32, 32.07, divided by the total mass of the entire compound, 97.45, multiply that by 100, and you're going to get a percentage here roughly of about 32.91. And what should happen is when you add these together, it should be 100. And wouldn't you be happy if you got that on your next test? We have a whole channel and website being created to help you do just that. Stay tuned.